Hey everyone, welcome to Marketing by John. Today we're talking marketing funnels and why they are so important. Uh, marketing funnels. Basically, a marketing funnel is going from somebody who doesn't know who you are at all. They don't recognize your business, your brand, nothing. They don't know what's going on. Getting their attention, allowing them to become aware of who you are, and then leading them down to the sale, and then opening that funnel up, the reverse funnel, which is now keeping them engaged to come back as a repeat customer. But I want to simplify this for you because there's a lot of content out there that complicates the sales funnel and the marketing funnel. And they're all really good resources. We use them at Good Monster to educate our team. I'll even give you a good one. One of the best books on marketing and sales funnels that I've ever read is Dot Com Secrets by Russell Brunson. It goes into detail about the different levels of the sales funnel and how to create hooks and, and attractive characters. It's an amazing book. But for most of you out there, you lack the general idea of a marketing funnel and what it actually looks like and what it does. So brand, you'll hear all the time on this podcast that the brand is the most important thing for a company to uh, project uh, a positive brand. So brand is essentially what people think of you. That's it. So you want to make sure you're focusing your attention on creating a positive brand experience because then it leads to things, it leads to free marketing, things like word of mouth. But outside of brand, creating a marketing funnel is the most important thing to growing your business from a marketing standpoint. Okay, so if you, if you have your operations in check, your team in check, all of those things. When you talk about marketing and sales, creating a funnel that consistently brings in people uh, or brings in new business is incredibly important. So let's go through what a marketing funnel is. Generally, in this, to simplify this, a marketing funnel is doing something to get that person to do something else down the funnel. You want to get somebody to do the next thing in line before uh, they get down to that sale. So a marketing funnel could be as small as creating a headline or a subject in an email to get them to open the email. And then the text in the email gets them to read down through the paragraphs, like paragraph number one gets them to read paragraph number two, paragraph number two gets them to read paragraph number three, so on and so forth. And then at the end is a call to action. And then you get them to click and they go to your website. And then on your website, you get them to sign up for a membership or you get them to you know, purchase a product or take part in a sale. That's a funnel. That's a small funnel. That's one email campaign channeling somebody into your website. A marketing funnel can also be very large. Marketing funnel can be filled with actual campaigns. So top of the funnel might be a whole annual campaign, a brand campaign, you know, something like Geico. You know, 15 minutes could save you 15%. Like that's top of funnel brand. But then you, Geico wants to lead people down or going in or calling. So the next level of the funnel is somebody seeing that brand awareness or that, those brand campaigns. And then they go to Google and they search Geico. And then Geico says 15 minutes could save you 15%. Then they click on the website and Google. They go to their website. They sign up to have an agent call them, so on and so forth. That's a funnel. Okay, so your funnels can be tiny. They can be massive. They can be one day long. They can be 12 months long. But either way, you need to think about a marketing funnel and its structure in order to have a chance at having effective marketing. So make sure whatever you're doing and realize that everything in marketing is a funnel or it should be. Otherwise, it's lost. And it's like shooting darts in the dark. You have no idea if this piece of creative is going to do well or not because it has no structure, it has no strategy. So make sure your marketing funnels start at the top with brand. It's the most important thing. It will feed the rest of your funnel. Once you have your brand established at the top, you want to make sure that the brand awareness is leading them down to investigate when they have the need or if you're creating a need. And so next, you want that brand to get them to go and investigate. They're going to go Google search. They're going to go ask their friends. They're going to go to their local grocery store and see if you're available there. They're going to go online and look for ratings and reviews. They're going to go on Amazon to see how many ratings and reviews that you have. Okay? Then that mid-funnel, the investigation, you need to make sure there's attractive stuff there. You need to make sure you have great reviews. You need to make sure there's social proof and testimonials and case studies uh, or, or social proof in the fact that everyone they know has this product. Um, and after the investigation, if you've done a good enough job, that will lead them to buying the product. And then when they buy the product, part of marketing is product and creating a great product. 
and you want to make sure that you fulfill on your promise so that then they are repeat buyers. They come back for more or they recommend it to their friends. The concept is simple. The marketing funnel is simple. Execution is tough because we get distracted by the shiny things. Oh, I need to be on Clubhouse. I'm literally on Clubhouse right now. I, uh, I have the volume down so I can record this podcast, but it's a room that I want to uh, engage with. I don't want to lose it. Um, I want to make sure that I'm in here long enough in case there's any algorithm b- benefits. But I'm literally on Clubhouse right now um, um, while I'm recording this podcast. Uh, I have no idea where I was just going with that. Anyways, marketing funnel. Super important that you understand this concept and that everything you're doing. Actually, we'll use Clubhouse as an example. Clubhouse, the hot new app. Listen to my last episode. I talk all about Clubhouse. Clubhouse can be a marketing funnel. If you're a founder, you're a thought leader, you're building your personal brand, go on Clubhouse and engage with people. Get pulled up on stage and talk about topics you, uh, you uh, know, love, and, and want to educate about. And that's top of funnel. That's brand. Pe- people will become aware of you. They will click your profile. They will look at your profile. If your profile looks attractive, then they might click over to your Instagram. If they like your Instagram and it looks like you're going to add value, maybe they'll DM you. And that DM now is bottom of funnel. So think of things like funnels and you will be an amazing marketer. I guarantee it. If you can grasp the basics of a funnel, which is do something to get the person who sees that thing to do the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing and realize that the levels will progress them through the funnel. I use this with my team all the time. The easiest example that I can give is an email. You would never open an email with a terrible subject line. If it has a good subject line, you're going to click to open it. And you would probably not continue reading an email that had an offensive or terrible first paragraph or something that you totally just weren't interested in. You wouldn't continue reading. But if it has attractive first paragraph, you're going to keep reading. Or if it has an attractive first image, you're going to keep scrolling. And then if the rest of it looks like crap, you're going to delete it. But if it looks great and at the end it says, hey, do you want 50% off? Hey, do you want to read this blog post? And it's attractive enough, uh, you're going to click on that link and you're going to go through. So that is the best example that I, I, I use as a marketing funnel. So think of things like marketing funnels. You'll be a great marketer. If you found this episode valuable, please make sure you smash the like button. Uh, also hit a subscribe or follow wherever you're watching this. If you're on LinkedIn, hit, hit a follow uh, or connect with me. I love to connect with people over there. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of this glorious marketing talk. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a great day.